Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here and welcome back to Shark Week. Today we will be reviewing the Schleich Tiger Shark. Now, Galeocerdo cuvier is a species of Requiem Sharks, aka Carcharhinid Sharks, and they are hailed for having the widest feeding spectrum of all shark species, feeding on crustaceans, fish, seals, birds, squid, turtles, sea snakes, and even dolphins, as well as smaller sharks. They can reach usually about five meters in length, and they are typically found in tropical and temperate waters. Okay. So this is the second figure we're reviewing for Shark Week, and we can see how Schleich, they're their extinct animal figures can usually be very hit or miss, but their modern day animals, just look at this tiger shark. You can see the, where this animal gets its name from. Very distinct patterning of the tiger shark. It's very dark mottled stripe kind of looking things. Even though they look more like spots, but <laughs> who knows. The coloration is wonderful. We've got the counter shading that sharks have, light underneath, darker on the top. And let's look at the head. Now the eye looks quite interesting. It looks quite seated. And we're going to have to focus thing again. Oh, there we go. And the nostrils look very... I don't even know how to describe it. Very fleshy nostrils. But they have got the teeth perfectly that recurve very sharply and these are perfect for ripping into tough things like sea turtle shells and we can see the interior of the mouth is painted pink as well wonderfully done very well made we've got this darker shade it's almost like this incredibly dark shade of grey on the top the five gill slits both on both sides pectoral fins now this is what I was talking about the Great White Shark review by Papo. This is more so what I was looking for, where the pectorals hold up the shark's head. Apologies for the focus. And this is made out of a much lighter plastic, and I think it actually works in the figure's favour. Now the dorsal fin. No seams, by the way. <laughs> Very well done. Now, something interesting, I don't know if this is just mine, but some of the fins have this weird, like, white chipping on the plastic, and this wasn't me. I, this, I got this, it was like this the day I got it, and I believe I got this brand new, so it couldn't have been the previous owner chewing it, because there was no previous owner. So it's very odd. We've got the uh, pelvic fins here, claspers, so this is probably a male. Anal fin, caudal fin, tail fin. The pose is also very fluid. I could totally believe that this is a pose that this animal could pull off, and it looks it looks just like a modern tiger shark, which is what more can you ask from a tiger shark figure? And it just the overall appearance, it just like look at that. Look at that, that is wonderful. This is a brilliant figure by Schleich, and I have basically nothing but praise for their modern animals. I just wish they would step up their game overall with their extinct ones, which I think they have been doing in recent years, but I think we've, they're still getting a few things wrong. But at least they are improving, and their modern animals are wonderful. So in terms of the length, I think it's just about just under 16 centimeters in terms of the height uh, just over five centimeters and the dorsal fin and then in terms of the width for the pectorals you're looking at about uh, just over seven centimeters okay that's all I have to say about this figure um, if you're a fan of sharks, get it absolutely. This is wonderful. Probably the best representation of a tiger shark I've seen in figure form. Got, whoa, that lighting. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. 
and I'll see you guys in the next Shark Week review. Bye-bye, everybody.